And going back to school here at home can be stressful for families and teachers too. They put a lot of work into making sure everything goes smoothly. Yeah, that effort often includes spending their own money. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez looks into how parents can give teachers a helping hand. For weeks, teachers prepared for this moment, the start of the school year. And we know that we're going to have a very fun and successful school year. I checked in with three teachers at Warm Springs Elementary School in San Bernardino. Each one has a budget from the school and the superintendent to spend on supplies for the year. But each admits they spent out of pocket before classes even began. Oh, absolutely. Oh, <laughs> most definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. You're, you're long, yeah. And it's not only at the beginning of the school year, it's an ongoing process. We're always buying things for our classrooms. Um, not only supplies, but also snacks or tissues. Um, you know, wipes to clean our desks. This is an avid school, meaning each student is provided with the essentials, a binder, pencils, erasers, even a backpack. Everything that they need to be successful for the school year, we try and guarantee that they have that because we know that some of our students don't have access to those things. Even with all that assistance, teachers still dip into their own pockets. You won't hear them complain about it, but it adds up. So donations are always welcome. After all, not all supplies last through the year. Pencils, um, erasers, and, and you know folders, things like that, that eventually get torn up as they come in and out of backpacks. These dedicated educators say donations can be more than material. There's high value in parent volunteers. That doesn't cost mm -hmm. anything. Just come in, trust me, we have plenty of things <laughs> that need to be done that we usually do on our own time. Anything to make the school year better for the students, that includes getting kids out of summer mode and refocused on the classroom. Counselor Jaden Ramos says it's as easy as a pep talk. I think that the best thing to do is just to hype them up, make them excited about going to school, letting them know that they're going to be OK. But if they're not getting that reassurance from someone that they trust, it, it may not be that great of a start. A community effort on any campus to give students the best chance to be their best. Rick Montanez, KCAL News.